All right, are you guys ready for the next panel here on the main stage of Kamikaze Expo? Woo! Are you guys sure you're ready? Because we got Rob Liefeld here. You know, he's just the guy who created Young Blood and I don't know, co-created Deadpool. Do we have any Deadpools out there? So I'm guessing some of you guys want to hear from him. All right, let's talk about it then. Hey, Rob, how are you feeling? Uh, fantastic. I, uh, is this the fourth Kamikaze, the fifth? This is the fourth Kamikaze. I, I have never been here. And uh, when my son and I came in, I was like, whoa! Yeah. I mean, uh, how did I miss out on the show? And the Deadpools are everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Hello, hello. Look at him. Hello, Deadpool. Hello, what's up? <laughs> what's up, little dude? How you doing? Rob right. is running around uh, high-fiving some of them. Uh, he's going to be jumping in mosh pitting later. Okay. So okay. you guys can crowd surf him, right? You don't have to toss them back. You do not have to toss them back. We'll do that at the end of the panel. Can I, can I just do this? Well, uh, let's talk real quick about that time that you and Fabian cr created Deadpool. No, I, that's not how I do things. Yeah, you I, do I, it. I, like I, I just gotta you do, do my it. thing. I gotta do do your thing. thing. Here's the deal. When I go to shows now, especially with these kids, they weren't alive when we were selling millions of comics. Right. So what I do is I tell people a little about my career. That's what I, I want to hear. Um, I uh, grew up uh, with no other skills but to draw comic books. And uh, so uh, my mom was very concerned about me. My dad was okay with it. Uh, when I graduated high school, the clock went off because I absolutely had to draw comics. Um, I got into comics. Weirdly enough, I'm the son of a pastor, and uh, the Old Testament is very violent. And uh, I couldn't believe that all these characters died. I'm like, there's no further adventures of Samson? So uh, I was like, wait a second, he's dead? And, and David died? And so anyway, then I got into comics. I'm like, this is what it's about. Superman never dies. And uh, like I said, I started drawing. I'd go to conventions like this. I'd meet people, and uh, long story short, high school, I uh, had like one year to break in in my head, I just because I, I was w working three jobs. And those of you who are trying to work in, I worked construction, uh, delivered pizzas, and uh, was a was a uh, uh, the guy who cleans up your dishes at the restaurant. Um, uh, Busser. A uh, bus boy. Yeah. Bus um, and every night and on the weekends, uh, I would I would dr con uh, construction was six days a week, but I used. I used all my time to draw, 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 broke in at a very young age, uh, 28 years now, I've been in the business, uh, was hired by Marvel and DC at the same show, and uh, I went and did a, a book for DC Comics called Hawk and Dove, and back then I didn't know how well it was doing, but then they showed me, they printed the letters in uh, the letters page in issue three, and they were always yelling at me, ah, oh, Rob, you're not good enough, Rob, blah, 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 that's okay, I was a young guy, I needed it, and then I read in the letters page, we love Rob Life, and I'm like, hey, they don't hate me. You, artists are insecure, so all you see is they don't hate me. Awesome. Um, then I got a call to come work in the X-Men office. And uh, that was a life-changing moment. Um, they offered me X-Factor, and for those of you who don't know, it's the original X-Men. And I said, I am not good enough to draw them. But the New Mutants was going down. It was, it was about to uh, be canceled. And I said, uh, I'll take that book. Um, and you should go back and see the issues before it before me, there was a guy with a big bird head, um, and his name was Bird Brain or something like that. And uh, it, was, it was really weird, it was a strange book. And they let me come in and, and create this new teacher called Cable. And uh, give, give uh, yes, thank you, Cable is awesome. And, and he will, when he appears on screen, we're all gonna nerdgasm, because he's coming. They can't hold him back. Um, <laughs> yes, he's coming. And uh, so anyway, from there, a couple issues in, the sales um, went from cancellation to the second highest X-Men book. And then they said, Rob, would you like to write the book? And I'm like, uh, yes. Um, so uh, I had a couple of young guys who were trying, uh, Scott Labdell, Fabian Nicieza, and I forget the other guy. They were always going, Rob, let's do something together. Let's do something together. And uh, I went, eeny, meeny, my notes. I, 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 Fabian edged out Scott. We got along a little better. So Fabian joined me for the ride. New Mutants 98 which has skyrocketed, uh, was done because I was like, this is my first time writing. I have to load the barrel. I've got to, like, they already like cable. What am I gonna do next? What's my follow-up? And like I said, we were uh, now selling like 800,000 copies, an obscene amount of copies. And uh, so when you look at that cover and you look at Deadpool and Gideon, poor Gideon, and Domino, that was me like yeah. loading. Like, one of these has gotta work. Uh, so, uh, we introduced all three characters that same issue. And one and of those books sold four million copies. Oh, well, yeah, then, yeah. then that set the stage for X-Force. Yeah. And the funny thing is X-Force was turned down twice. I kept proposing it, 
and there is a guy in marketing who will live forever. His name is Sven, S-V-E-N, Sven. And Sven championed me. And he said, we should launch this book. We should not make it a New Mutants book anymore. And you guys all made it a monster, monster hit. And uh, that just kind of then propelled me and my peer group. Todd was on Spider-Man. Jim Lee was on X-Men. And one day we had this really stupid idea of like getting together and making our own treehouse. And because uh, Marvel's branches couldn't hold us anymore. No, that's, that's ridiculous. Burst um, in the bullpen. Yeah. So, uh, so we created Image Comics and shot off like a rocket. Thank you. And... Uh, you know, the rest has uh, just been the best ride I could ever hope to be on in my entire life. Um, uh, from all the books we created at Image, and, uh, and then, I mean, I've been, like I said, working 28 years nonstop, and uh, the magic is still the same. Every time I draw, I'm, I'm, I'm as excited as I was back then. Well, now, what, 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 what I'm interested in is that Hawk and Dove, like you came out and you didn't have the, the confidence, you said, to be doing these books. Right. But in issue five, you did that thing where you made the book sideways yes. because they were in another dimension. Yes. And you're like, okay, well, they're in this other dimension. The book's going right. to be sideways. And the editors came and cut out your panels and put them back in the right It's better order. than that. DC following Crisis. Any of you guys remember Crisis? Yeah. Crisis on Infinite Earths. We're going to reset everything. No more, yeah, um, with, with mullet Superman. Okay. Here's We're going to give Superman the a mullet. So, so everything was going to be consistent following Crisis. My good buddy, Eric Larson, we launched Image Comics together. He was part of the, com the, 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 the band that, that went crazy. Um, he had drawn that dimension in a book called Doom Patrol, and everything went sideways. So I'm just sitting at home going, well, everything's consistent now, so I should draw this sideways. And then the editor, who wanted to be in Hollywood, and at the time, there was a Superboy show. You're not going to remember this. It was on in the late 80s. I remember it in my nightmares. And they filmed it in Florida. And my editor was in Florida for a month. So then he comes back and he goes, you did this because I was gone. You did this. <laughs> and I said, dude, I'm going to draw the X-Men. I don't care anymore. Like, I, those, issue, those pages were fantastic. But he said, you're not going to turn this sideways on me. And I'm like, but the previous one... That By Eric the did. In three months ago, the dimension was sideways. That editor sucks, and that's stupid, and we're not going to do it that way. And I'm like, I'm so out of here. Where's my rocket ship? Me and DC have never worked out. Oh, well, yeah, why not spirit that? animals? They even gave you Hawk and Marvel Dove again. Marvel and Image are my spirit animals. Right, right, but they also gave you Hawk and Dove again with the new 52. I was also I was the last guy hired uh, on the original Hawk and Dove. Right. Everyone turned it down. The only reason I got Hawk and Dove is because every one of my buddies is like, yeah, I was offered that. I turned it down. I mean, do you so guys like, please. Do you consider yourself a controversial figure in, in comics? I don't, but people right. want me to be, so okay. You just play the role. What is controversial about it? Is right. it my spiked hair, my piercings? No, I think it's my, the underwear commercial. I mean, I, I just, <laughs> I don't get it. I, I, but I, I'm the guy, so I got, here's the target right on me. And I think I'm they good. call it a meltdown when, when you just speak your mind on Twitter. They call it yeah, a meltdown. Yeah, if you're honest, oh no, he's having a meltdown. Right. Yeah. Are you taking the pills, sir? Are I you am. taking the meltdown? Are you even strapped I am. in? I am taking the, I took the pills before I came. Do we got Liefeld back? No, you didn't. Look at you. You're like marching the chair back every time you jump. No, <laughs> like the most no, manic the pills energy are to ever. Keep me jacked up. <laughs> My kid and I, we did coke in the car. Come on. We're oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Your, how old's your kid? Sorry, sorry Luke. Um, oh, they know. He's 14. Wow. Recreational. Oh, okay. Well, we got it. Um, the, the All the kids at church aren't going to understand tomorrow. So okay. once you did New Mutants and once like uh, X Force hit number one, like the, at that point, did you gain the confidence that we were like, I'm just going to be going? You never. You, you never. Do you still the have that confidence? Never, no, you just. Um, everything that works is out of your hands. Right. And so anybody who's out there who wants to be a comic book creator right now, like, what would you tell them? Because you did start out at 19, and I have a story from where I shop comics. That, 18. Or 18, where, where you would actually go and get the action figures and draw the action figures and learn the comics from that's, posing. That, that's them. A, that's is a that, myth. Is that's, that a myth? That's a complete myth. Okay, complete so, myth. so you, you, how did you draw? How did you learn to draw? Here's the deal. I actually went to life drawing classes. Okay. And with one of the best life drawing teachers in Cal State Fullerton, and he would go to me and say, Rob, um, see this short little fat postman? We had a postman who would come in and... Uh, and his and chest was like this. No, 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 no. In life drawing, the model stands naked, for all those kids who don't yeah. know this. And uh, our guy, he's a postman, he loved it. He'd get up there bare naked. <laughs> but after you're done, everyone would turn their drawings around. And I I'm, the guy would get excited during the session. It was normally 30 minutes. So depending on how fast you finished, he was in a different position, if you know what I mean. And, uh, whoa. But I would give him, like, more musculature in my... Yeah. Uh, my teacher would be like, Rob, I, you can't make everyone a superhero. I'm like, yes, I can. But uh, <laughs> no, 
here's the deal. The comics I grew up with, when Todd and Jim and myself and Eric and we popped, we popped because comics had gotten kind of dull. Four panel grids. Yeah. And we would break the panel borders. We would add speed lines. I tell people all the time. I did an interview like a couple weeks back, and I'm like, you don't. I was so into manga. Mango was my secret sauce. No one else was looking at all the Japanese and the Chinese stuff. And I was going to a, a, a place in Westminster where I would get up there and they didn't speak English and I didn't speak that. And then they'd be like, uh, and I'm like, uh, uh. and then they're like, Let, let's add it up and, and I'll give you money and then we don't have to talk anymore. But I would carry like this many manga books home. And that is how, yeah. like, like when you look at Cable, he's manga-ish. Um, I mean, all that gear, n nobody was wearing that gear. And that was me trying to stand out. And when you see what Todd McFarlane was doing, we were trying to stand out. We were trying to break from the pack. And, uh, and all the belts and like the pouches, is that you or is that Jim? No, that's like what Jim did Wait, the come on. I know, it's you, right? It's me. But like, I don't remember. pouch guy. Why did they get all the pouches? I, I don't remember the panel where somebody's like, hold on, I got to get that thing and like ever use the panels. Dude, like in, that, like, in, that, like there's, an X-Men. There's many issues with that. They're, they're, but, but Jim bailed looking. on it. You're like, not looking. Here's the deal. I show people all the time, look yeah. at these SWAT guys. They have 10 pouches. Right. Look at military. They have pouches. I, I didn't and in the books, the they use them. But the it, pouch looks good on But it like Cable good. never was like, hold on, my contact. Dude, Zero Dark, is that Zero Dark 30? Yeah. Is that what it's called? When those yeah. guys. Yeah, they're going they, after Bin Laden. They look awesome. They got the different scopes they, and everything. That looks awesome. So I tried to bring awesome to comics. Yeah. It doesn't work on Superman because Superman's just like, they, Superman, they yanked his underwear off Superman of him. Superman got a collar and a cape. Right. But he's awesome. Right. Best, great costume. Like, one of the 10 best costumes ever. But you can't do that. Right. You can't do that. And you saw Incredibles. Yeah. You can't wear the capes anymore. No. It's they get stuck in, the, stuck in the Can door. Can you imagine Deadpool with the cape? Oh, crap. Yeah. Boom, boom, stop. I think, I think Deadpool's the kind of character who would want a cape so he could clown the characters that That's have right. the cape. That's right. That's uh, right. Chimichangas. Are you a Chimichanga fan, or is that just something you gave to Deadpool? You know, let's give credit. That uh, yeah. I love, okay, my whole family knows I'm the Mexican food guy. Taco yeah. Tuesday is where I live. If you go to Fresca's in Brea, they go, oh, Liefeld, three right. times a week. But um, bottom line, that's a Joe Kelly thing. Right. He gave him the pension for the Jimmy, Ch you know, credit where it's due. Um, so Joe Kelly, I'm pretty sure, if I'm wrong, correct me, but I think that's him. And the Here, Here's what I yeah, tell people. Keep going. If you like the dead people kills people, uh, has katanas, uh, costume, name, uh, background of Weapon X, um, is a smart ass, um, shoots people, uh, could turn on you at a dime, that's me. <laughs> I'm your guy. Um, breaking the fourth wall, turning and talking to you. That's Joe Kelly. Jimmy Chunga, is that somebody else? The manic energy, I think, is you. But if, uh, Just guessing. Look, bottom line, if, uh, if uh, the Terminator goes back in time and pops Fabian, you still get Deadpool. You pop me, yeah. boom, I'm dead, nothing. Because I was a writer. I right. wrote it, I drew it, I sent it in. Comics were different then. Now they, I read all the time on Twitter, we're at the committee, we're deciding, what the hell? They, they have their retreats. Rob, their retreats. Yeah. yeah. We didn't have a retreat. It was Todd, do this. Jim, do this. Rob, do this. And then it became corporate, which is great. Mm -hmm. Which is great. Helps you sell the books. Yeah. When the books aren't selling, which is what, like now. Why aren't no, books selling? No, the magic is in the movies now. Yeah. Everyone gets excited about the movies. Yeah. And, now, is, and Ryan Reynolds for, becoming for Deadpool. Is that your Deadpool? That Deadpool footage, you guys see that? That leaked online? It was insane. Thank you. You guys made that movie happen. Your reaction, that's you. That is you. Um, How involved are you as the guy who here's gave birth the deal. to Deadpool? Talk to us. Following Wolverine 2009, was that it? Origins? Yeah, the Barakapool. Um, yeah, they, uh, the Donners called me to their office. They said, Rob, we want to meet you about, we want to meet and talk to Deadpool since we're spinning it off. We want it, we know we made some missteps. We want to get it right. So I sat there with a bunch of uh, producers and we sat for several hours and we uh, talked about, you know, different ideas and I kind of tried to steer them in, in, in directions I think. I mean, for instance, I'll tell you, first question they said, Rob, does Cable need to be in the Deadpool movie? And I said, no, Deadpool deserves his own function and Cable should come in in his own movie. They were like, okay, because we were thinking about, and I, no, you can do them both separately. They don't need to be in the same, same movie. Um, but look, we had a long talk. We had some ideas, I can't share them. Some of them made it across the finish line. And uh, then they were brilliant and hired the Zombieland writers. Those guys are fantastic. I mean, I went to see Zombieland like five times in the theater. I was like, this is genius. Um, and the Deadpool script is fantastic. Three years ago, the director, Tim Miller, he contacted me four years ago. Three years ago, he goes, Rob, I want you to come up and see what we're doing. And he showed me all the pre-prep work. And then Ryan Reynolds is pulling up to film the scene that day. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is happening? 
cut to the, that footage is in the locker for three years. Three years. And God bless whoever leaked that. Whoever leaked it and goes to jail, we need to cheer them because <laughs> that movie is happening as that guy goes in cuffs because the Fox guy told me, Rob, we have computer forensics. We will find that person. And it's happening with Ryan? I said, Luke, hide the computer. What? Would you say it's happening with Ryan? Like, is he your Deadpool? Ryan is Deadpool. Yeah. Ryan, without, look, Ryan Reynolds, people have, he's gone through that same career arc. Right. The guy is ridiculously talented. Hilarious. He uh, has a huge, huge passion for Deadpool. Deadpool's not happening. Because he was a giant star, they said, Ryan, what do you want to do? And he said, Deadpool. That's why it happened. Mm. They would have no faith otherwise. That movie is because of his passion. That's and he awesome. put together the team, the writers. He, I, I think the writers, they would tell you that Ryan had input on the script. Um, and Tim Miller is just a fantastic director. I mean, you've been watching his stuff on video game trailers for years, and now he's going to strut on the big screen, and it's going to blow your mind. The trailer did blow our mind. I mean, that little footage was that's, incredible. That's nothing of what you're going to see. That is such a... Mm. And you're still going to be involved in the movie? Uh, dude, I did my part. They got to shoot the movie. I'm not behind the camera. Cut! Not me. What about a cameo? What about uh, a little Stan Lee-style cameo? I, I'm uh, up in the air. Like, you don't want like, Deadpool you know, to kill like, you? Stan Lee, God bless you. Your show is awesome. He likes to be in movies. Right. Like, look at Robert Kirkman. Is he in The Walking Dead? No. Is Mark Millar in his movies? So I, I'm figuring out who I want to be. Right. Probably if my daughter says, Dad, um, will you be in it? I'll do it. But she'll have to bring it up to me. Now, what do you think about some of these Deadpool costumes? You They're have, awesome. You, 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 you say you want to bring a couple of these guys Let's up? Let's go. Come you on, Deadpool. Get on the stage. Is, is on. that all right, Kamikaze? Can we uh, break the, 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 the fourth wall of the stage here? Uh, is, is there a way to hike these people up? Hey, D DP, are you not coming right up? here, guys. There's some ladders. There's uh, steps over here. Let's, let's get a little Deadpool fashion show going. Uh, I think we got a couple over here. Now, um, I think we can, we can rank them based on the success of their costumes. Like, we have a female <laughs> Deadpool here. Uh, she's been using Proactive. Lady Deadpool. Right Lady here. Dude. Proactive awesome, pull. Awesome, awesome. Look at these little guys. Awesome. Yep, they're little murderers. That's wow. fun. Wow. You guys look okay. great. Look at these psychopaths right here. Dude. How many wait. people have you killed? Pouches. Never High mind. five. How many chimichangas have you eaten? Looking good, buddy. A hundred. A hundred chimichangas. Fantastic. You look fantastic. Uh, Come on, wow. buddy. Oh, you got guns out. Elizabethan style? Right oh here. Oh, my gosh. When you see kids we, uh, as these, this, oh, last this night, violent Halloween, character. The whole neighborhood was Deadpool. And I'm like, here, kids, here, kids, here's your candy. That's awesome. Is Deadpool appropriate for kids? Why not? <laughs> uh, the, let's go back to the Bible. The most violent book you're ever going to hand a six-year-old. Here, read it, Billy. <laughs> awesome. They're murdering people and having, yeah. Yep. You guys are awesome in biblical proportions. No, hey, great. let's give it up for these Deadpools, man. They look fantastic. Oh, my gosh. Hey, thank you, guys. I mean, honestly, this. the cosplay community is fantastic. And they have, I, I, we're going to give them credit for Deadpool, too. They don't let Deadpool die. They are passionate, and that those pictures are seen. I mean, Deadpool really is. People go, who owns Deadpool? Marvel, technically, but Deadpool is owned by the people. Right. He's owned by, you can't stop him. You and know? look at this. What's your favorite cosplay you've ever seen anybody do of Deadpool? Um, As another one comes running all, up. You know what? Oh. <laughs> Hop on up here. Come on, buddy. Hop on up here. Excuse me, there sir. You what is Woo! your name? <laughs> I think you got to put out the sign. I love it. You know what? I, 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 I love all the Deadpools. I like, I like casual Deadpool. I like... Uh, oh, crap. Hey, careful, kid. Ar fully armed junior Deadpool. <laughs> Gotta love unmasked, bad acne, scars, Deadpool. Yeah. Uh, don't mess with me. Gear to the ninth. These two guys, gear to the ninth. Love it. Dude, you're looking awesome. Came with the katanas. Um, awesome. <laughs> the Elizabethan Deadpool? Uh, yeah, or a hoedown. Pride and um, Deadpool prejudice. Oh my gosh, and this guy's got. Who has grenades? Oh, you all have grenades. You have. <laughs> yeah. are, are you a little lady or a little man? <laughs> okay, I, I just couldn't tell from your, your ponytail. You're awesome. What, what, what is your favorite part about Deadpool? He's heal, he shoots. He kills and shoots, yes! <laughs> yes! How old are you? Eight. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. He's eight, 18, 18, right? Okay, okay. No, you guys are fantastic. Thank you for coming up here. Wow, guys. Did everyone get a photo? You guys get a photo? <laughs> Woo! So, uh, no, you, you guys, guys are fantastic. Hands. Jazz hands Deadpool. You, you'd say what? You guys could stand here the whole time. I don't care. 
Yeah. It looks better. What other panel is going to be as cool as this? Awesome what panel could possibly come after this? I mean, look at this. We've got a fashion, a Deadpool fashion show with yeah. Rob Liefeld himself up here. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure there are a ton we're, out we're there. We're going to get tons of photos later. Well, um, just look. Say hi to everybody. Guys, that's Rob Liefeld, creator Thank you, of everyone. Thank you so much. Creator of Youngblood. Uh, he's going to be signing at his booth right over there at 1230. I think we got to thank him for everything he's brought us over the last 20-plus years of comics. Woo! You I guys wouldn't be here it. without him. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you, guys. Thank you for coming on stage. Thank you. Thank you.